Good to see you again, Connor. How are you keeping? Very well, Stephen, and yourself? Yeah, not too bad, thanks. So today we're going to be talking about medium and large companies who use contractors. You have some advice for them? Yes, Stephen. The UK is going through the biggest upheaval in workforce management history. I think it's fair to say that this is going to be a seismic change. Really? Yes, HMRC have updated legislation called IR35, which puts a huge onus on large and medium-sized organizations to assess whether its contractors are inside or outside IR35. And what does that mean? Well, if they're deemed inside IR35, those workers are effectively paying national insurance and income tax at source, a radical change. So they'll actually be making less money? I think that's fair to say, Stephen. When IR35 was introduced into the UK public sector, contractor take-home reduced by 30%. That's a lot. And what if they are outside IR35? If they're outside, Stephen, there's no change. They continue to pay their taxes in the same manner. So the contractor needs to check themselves whether they're inside or outside IR35? No, Stephen. And this is really the seismic change that we're talking about. So the onus and the responsibility is now moved from the contractor to the end user to categorize and assess whether those workers fall inside or outside IR35. And in some cases, there's thousands of workers that need to be assessed and categorized. And of course, the deadline is looming for this process to be completed, 6th of April, 2021. Well, how long does it take? It really depends, Stephen. So for example, we've been working with some organizations for over two years on ensuring that their organizations are ready for the IR35 legislation. However, there's other organizations we've been working with for 10 months to ensure that their organization is also ready for IR35. And of course, we're working with clients at the moment that are trying to get ready ahead of the deadline. So what I would say to anyone listening today is don't be despondent. This is a problem that can be solved. Well, it's relieving to hear that there's still time, but it sounds like there's a lot of things to consider. Yes, Stephen, there is. And I'm going to highlight the four key considerations you should look at. Okay. Firstly, there's a huge administrative burden. Organizations need to identify the key stakeholders that will be involved in this project. And those stakeholders are from legal, tax, finance, procurement, and of course, the actual hiring managers that are engaging and are responsible for those workers. And then, of course, there's the problem of identifying and auditing your contingent workers. Secondly, you need a communication plan. That is absolutely crucial. It's so important to get buy-in from all stakeholders so that there's no ambiguity. Thirdly, I think there possibly could be a loss of talent. Really? Yes. The decrease in income coupled with the change in the worker-client relationship will likely see workers leave. And in fact, when IR35 was introduced in the UK public sector, large swathes of contractors left the sector. And finally, number four, what no CEO or CFO wants to hear, Stephen, this is likely going to increase costs. Really, the key question is, who's going to pay for these extra taxes? It's going to be the end user in all likelihood. Geez, I can see what you mean. It's a big change for all parties and a lot of work. It is, Stephen. I think feel to prepare, prepare to feel. That's a key consideration here. Let's look at some of the major risks for organizations that don't get this right. One, major fines. Two, reputational risk and damage. And three, potential HMRC audit or investigation, something that no organization ever wants. So our advice to any organization listening is beware. Well, based on what you just said there, Connor, I certainly wouldn't want to be starting this process now. There's no denying, Stephen, this is a massive undertaking, but I think it's important to say that this is a solvable problem. We've developed a digital compliance platform called CXC Comply that helps ease the administrative burden, speed up the process, and ensure workers are fully compliant. Wow, that sounds useful. I'd be happy to talk to anyone out there who is concerned about meeting the 6th of April deadline. So how do they get in touch? Please email me at connor.heaney at cxeglobal.com. Brilliant. Thanks for your time today, Connor. Thank you, Stephen. Thank you.